Well, the first two videos I've done tonight, one by the RGs and the other one, what was the other video? Uh, oh, Ronnie Dove. They were really long, so I'm going to make this one short and sweet. Some of that sweet soul music mixed with a little bit of jazz. Nancy Wilson with Peace of Mind on Billboard's Hot 100. Uh, the week of October 5th, 1968, this song took a big jump that week. It, ju it debuted at number 100. It jumped to 69 the next week, but it stiffed at 55, ultimately. Peace of mind by Nancy Wilson. Probably not commercial enough for Top 40, but for adult radio, it would be a perfect fit for adult radio and R&B. Peace of mind by Nancy Wilson. Uh, she was born in Ohio, but on the advice, taking the advice, taking some advice from, from uh, Cannonball Adderley, she moved to New York City in 1959. She got a job, got a big break, where she replaced somebody else, but then she got a uh, started to sing regularly at a nightclub in New York City called the Blue Morocco. She sang in that nightclub four nights a week, and she worked as a secretary during the daytime. She also picked up Cannonball Adderley's manager. His name was John Levy. Got a deal with Capitol Records. First R&B hit, Save Your Love For Me, went to number 11 R&B. That was back in 1962. Her biggest hit, You Don't Know How Glad I Am, went to number 11 on Billboard's Hot 100. It was a big hit on the adult charts. A Another hit on the adult charts for Nancy Wilson was her version of Uptight by Stevie Wonder. She also did a remake of Can't Take My Eyes Off of You by Frankie Fowley. Another big hit for Nancy Wilson was Face It Girl, It's Over, which came out back in the earlier earlier in 1968. This woman could sing R&B, blues, jazz, and cabaret. She was a very versatile singer. Peace of mind. On Billboard's Hot 100, the week of October 5th, 1968, coming in at number 69, Nancy Wilson.